everyone, Catherine, going to read you a cute little story, A Splendid Friend Indeed, by Suzanne Bloom, and it's published by Boyd's Mills Press. Cute. So I, on the cover, we see the bear and a duck and a book. And, oh, we see this duck running down a hill. Looks like he knows exactly where he's going. Is that a hill he's running down? I wonder. It's not a hill. He's running down the back of the bear. And he says to the bear, what are you doing? Are you reading? And the bear's thinking, I was reading until you put your face into my face. I like to read, says the duck completely takes over the book and starts to read. Do you want to hear me read? Hmm. I don't think he does. Now what are you doing? You're writing? I like to write. Of course you do. Would you, do you want to see me write? No, I want you to go away. He didn't say that, but I think that's what he meant. What are you doing now? Are you thinking? Look at, look at this little head. Isn't that adorable? Are you thinking? You know what? Thinking makes me hungry. Are you hungry? I'll go make a snack. And off he goes. He's back. I'm back. I made a snack. Look at this. He came back with all the snacks. Bear's writing in his book. I wrote a note. I will read it to you. The bear's going to stop talking. But the bear, but the duck wrote a note and he's going to read it to the bear. What does the note say? The note says, I like you. Indeed I do. You are my splendid friend. Wow. That's very nice. Look at the bear. He's like, wow. That's a nice thing. Thank you, the bear says. I like you too. Indeed, I do. Puts out his paw. Bear feels a little sad. With goodness, though, he feels happy sad because he has a friend. You are my splendid friend, my splendid friend indeed. And he hugs that duck, gives him a nice big bear hug. And there they are, sharing their snacks, their books, their reading, and their friendship. The end. It's a cute story, isn't it? I hope you enjoyed it. I liked reading it to you. And we'll read again soon.